What's up guys out in Arizona? Uh, we're teaching a class or two intro to precision rifle courses here at the uh, Dillon Arrows range. So those of you that are familiar with the uh, minigun, uh, his personal long range that he's got here. Uh, so first class went really well. Uh, but this is going to be episode three of the Arrow Solus. And this one, as you can tell, is already going to be more casual viewing, if you will, uh, on the phone with microphone and kind of just going through the paces here. So we are between both courses. We wrapped up the first one a couple days ago. Uh, there's a three-day gap before we do the next one. So Phil, Kalen, and myself here as the instructors of Modern Day Sniper decided to get together and have our uh, good training day. And I figured this would be a good way to do episode three. So this is gonna be a video on how the rifle is doing during our training session out here in this dusty environment. It did really well during the intro course. It grouped really well with the Hornady ammo this time. Must have been a better lot as if you guys recall from episode two. And uh, I'll show a group here, uh, a little bit of an overlay, the best group that I got out of it with that Hornady ammo. But yeah, so I just got everything on the firing line and let's see how episode three goes. All right, so just uh, confirms here, and I'm just gonna make sure the trajectory is still lining up with everything at 834, dialed 6.7 on. Let's go. I got Phil on glass spotting. Hey, Phil, I'm gonna hold uh, two tents right. That's what I'm gonna open up with. You on? I'm on it. Two tents. Yep, hit, but where? Pretty centered. Centered? All right, same thing. Two tents. Left edge. Left edge. Bumping it to four tents. Uh, water line's good. You were just uh, right along there. Cool. So elevation's good? Yeah. Perfect. So we're good. Target. Oh wait, that was right target. Right. Yep. Got it. Yep. 
Yep. Got that shot off. Yeah, I got it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't quite 10. That's what I was saying. Hmm? The wind wasn't quite 10. How many yeah. how many impacts did he get? Three, four, five, six were clean. Seven I missed one impact to the next. So that's five. Follow up and hit it? Yeah, because you have to send two rounds at that berm anyways, because you gotta work your way back. So you get seven, seven goes. Yeah. So you hit the first one, but you missed I missed the first. The first hit, the hit the second. Oh, okay. And then I hit. Did I hit six? Or I missed? You hit six. On the way out, but not on the way back. Right? Yeah, you missed six on the way back. Yeah, so I missed six, and then I shot five at the same time the timer went. So that's six impacts. Is that including the five? The five berm? Yeah, so, so three, four, five, six, seven. You get seven once, right? Yep. You hit six or you miss six? Miss six on the way back. Miss six? So you hit five. Yeah. So six. Okay. And that was 75.19 is when it went off, so I guess you don't need to count that. Yeah. Would you count that if it's within the three tenths? Like yeah, some... yeah, no, it's, it's within three tenths. Yeah. Because the beep is three tenths. Wind, dude. <laughs> I can feel it slipping in my ball head. Shut your face, though. Ah, uh, too much wind broke off right. Colors are confusing me.
miss, but thank you. Did I hit one of them? That was me. It was within three tenths. It's a... So 90.18. Okay guys, so we just wrapped up our training then for the day of the three of us. Well, actually we had Eric out here as well. He's uh, AIing with us, so four of us. We did our training event, uh, not my best day of shooting, uh, but pretty happy overall with it. The arrow did phenomenal, did everything it needed to do, no malfunctions, no issues whatsoever. Um, winds were anywhere from six on the low end up to about 11 or 12. And so we just kind of had to keep up on shooting. Uh, as you can see, as you saw in some of the footage, uh, the wind, especially when standing on a tripod, you'll see that rock you and open up your wobble zones. Um, but yeah, went really well. Overall, arrow, no issues. No issues in the intro course before that. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do the intro course, uh, the second one, and I don't foresee any issues with that, but I'm not gonna bother filming for that. You guys already saw uh, the premise of what episode three was about. And I'm thinking the next one that we might do is gonna be I have a prefit proof carbon fiber 6.5 PRC barrel. Uh, I'd like to use that as one of the uh, episodes. I'm just not sure which one that's going to be yet, depending on if I can get the Magnum bolt face uh, in a timely fashion. But yeah, hopefully you guys got a kick out of episode three. Nothing like right to the point or any specific thing in regards to the arrow. It was more so just... How is it performing during our training day and kind of impromptu. So hopefully you guys liked it.